before taking and giving you medical portion yes. and even this interview i took one interview yes, of yours and that intro yes, is only between you and me yes this yes yes you i take from every doctor and portion okay. we ask from amc okay how you find that interview which we don't show to anyone yes sir that yes 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 that interview was very different that questions were very different i uh, i didn't know about much about much about the question and like you tell some some new things about triages and everything which i don't know earlier right now i right now i know I, everything about the what amc can ask me yes dr kushal first of all i want you should tell me about your family sir uh, i myself dr kushal rajput and my father is a businessman and uh, I, i am married my wife is also a med mbbs doctor so now you tell me like why you opted to be in army what motivates you first of all thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, recently i met uh, my father's friend who is a major general in army i saw him and he is uh, like his attire uh, inspired me to be in the army and the disciplined life of army inspires me the work culture of army inspires me and the uh, very disciplined life and very ethical life inspires me to be in the army medical corps tell about schizophrenia schizophrenia is a disorder which is characterized by the psychiatric illness in which you have like uh, mainly it consists of uh, tremors delirium delusion for more than 6 months if it is just it if, if it is less than 6 6 months it is known as brief psychotic disorder okay yeah. okay tell about leprosy okay leprosy is uh, mainly a dermatological disease which is uh, described by the cutaneous lesions all over the body it can be cured by multi drug therapy in which dapsons dapson uh, and uh, three drugs are given in the multi drug therapy okay tell me the management of malaria malaria can be managed uh, like it is like for north east north east uh, area it is very different it is giving with artemeter artemeter and lumifeltrin and in the other areas all over the india it is given by artemeter plus sulfamethazine plus pyridoxin combination along with that primaquine and chloroquine are uh, chloroquine are given okay now you tell me about lower abdomen pain differential diagnosis in female first of all lower abdomen pain differential diagnosis can be first of all very basic it is it can be dysmenorrhea amenorrhea and uh, female genital tract uh, infection it can be due to uh, hernia umbilical hernia okay it uh, it can be due to a pelvic abscess it can be due to a ureteric stones i remember all speak on zerd zerd okay gestational and uh, esophageal reflux disease okay it is uh, it comprises of like p like uh, mm, i don't remember it currently but uh, like isme hota hai sai ki aap bar bar aisa wo regurgitation hota hai mainly jab bhi aap kuch khate peete hai to body se wapas regurgitation hota hai to wo food wapas bahar aata hai matlab andar se acche se digest nahi ho pata right 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 reflux yes it is reflux so what type of medicine you prescribe here we can prescribe like uh, prototrop inhibitors we can prescribe h1 blockers so what is like your pentaprozol ppm what is your preference yes, like pentaprozol rabiprazol lensaprozol what is your preference omeprazol the most uh, like it is mostly it is like omeprazol to be given initially okay okay initially Okay. and if they are resistant to the cases then we can give rabiprazole which is most like yeah, little this for the resistant case, resistant cases yes tell about crohn's disease okay 
leads to our uh, iliac disease like crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis okay mainly uh, crohn's disease can be described as the ulceration of the stomach mucosa okay like irregular borders and like uh, burning sensation and uh, diminution of mucosa affects the lining of digestive tract especially yeah that is that is diminution of mucosa sir that's your right. language medical language you know yes yes sir now my next question to you is tell about seizure management okay first of all when a patient comes with a seizure yes like if he is unresponsive if he is responsive then ask about his history if not ask him like if he is a pediatric patient you can ask his parents about history a parent describe like like it is a regular like it comes only for one minute it comes only for like two minutes and after that he feels fine that in can be a absence seizure or like if it comes regularly like every one hourly it can be a focal seizure or we can treat by giving the lorazepam iv lorazepam and uh, after it if it is a case of pediatric then we will give fentanyl iv fentanyl Okay, now it, if uh, yes, yes, continue, please. If you want to give some, and if it occurs somewhere outside, then very first of all, very by scene safety, then call for help. After calling for help, then if they uh, medical till the week they come, uh, please put the patient to the left lateral position so that it cannot uh, like swallow or something like uh, it can not go into the lungs directly. The swallowing of food or whatever the saliva it directly don't, don't go into the lungs. you put patient in the left lateral position after the medical comes they will do it accordingly do the, like their procedure accordingly tell about acute respiratory distress syndrome okay acute respiratory distress syndrome can be comprised by the mainly it is a respiratory disorder which is uh, comprises of uh, lower lower lobes of the lungs which uh, Uh, which is constricted generally it is constricted due to smoking or like no non communicated like disease like copd asthma which can be cured by the various management you can give, provide the oxygen you can provide the drug which provides steroids which provides the better like better life for the lungs and better management for the lungs tell about diabetes insipidus diabetes uh, diabetes insipidus is mainly caused by the uh, deflection in the antidiuretic hormones adh when the secretion of adh decreases the water demand of the body increases which leads to the polydipsia polyphagia and these other symptoms which causes the diabetes insipidus mainly it is due to the antidiuretic hormone Okay, tell about renal stone. Okay, renal stone can be of many types. It can be on the upper side. It can be on the middle. It can be in the calyx. We can diagnose uh, renal stones. Can be of like if it is of a small size, we can we should not remove it surgically. It can be done by medical management. If it is of larger size, we should have to be removed with surgical management. We remove it by surgical management. mainly the uh, renal stones can be diagnosed by either by x ray or by either you can do a usg scan so that you can uh, diagnose the renal stones and then can you can manage uh, uh, appropriately tell about hypogonadism okay hypogonadism hypogonadism can be described as like uh, a small uh, testicular uh, a small ova a small uh, vagina or without vagina it can be uh, diagnosed early in the pregnancy or early before the birth it is also known as ambiguous ambiguous genitalia how are you feeling with pd classes i am feeling very confident with the pd classes since i am a uh, this before joining the class i was unable to speak like properly now i am very confident i am speaking properly i am little from little from little fumbling but 
still doing my best that I can do. What are your views about medical portion and my medical interview, yeah, med which I took personally? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, right now I am answering it very quickly. I don't know if I am right or I am wrong, but uh, medical questions are very good and I am feeling very confident that I can crack this exam and I can crack this interview also. Before taking and giving you medical portion yes. and even this interview, I took one interview yes, of yours. And that intro yes, is only between you and me. Yes, this yes, interview yes, I take from every doctor. And portion okay. we ask from AMC. Okay. How do you find that interview? Which we don't show to anyone. Yes, sir. That, yes, yes, yes. That interview was very different. That questions were very different. Uh, I didn't know about much about much about the question. And like you tell some, some new things about triages and everything, which I don't know earlier. Right now, I, right now, I know everything about the, what AMC can ask me. Okay, now you tell me about where you did your MBBS from. I did my MBBS from Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences, Karat, which and, is situated uh, in the Sahara, Maharashtra. Maharashtra. You have your experience also? Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, working as a junior resident for six months in a private hospital. Okay. So you believe your experience will be fruitful to our medical cops? Yes, it will be fruitful. It will be very fruitful because I have learned many things in the like uh, critical things in the that period which can be fruitful to the army, army medical cops. Today it is 7th of September and yes, sir. Today there is no interview in EMC. Okay. Tomorrow also there will be no interview. Okay. Till Saturday or till Friday, because till Friday there were interviews yesterday. Okay, okay. From 28th August to 6th of September. Okay. Whomsoever were our students, they all got selected in our medical course. Yes, sir. I can see that. Hundred percent all means. Yes, sir. I will make you proud, sir. Oh, that's great. Yes, sir. Okay. Great interview.